Hi students, in this video we're going to look at proving our fourth chord theorem. So what does that involve? So after watching this video you should be able to prove that the perpendicular bisectors of all chords on the circle meet at the centre. Now the things you have to recall are just our simple ones, steps for geometric proof and geometric reasoning axioms and notation. Now we have to prove that the perpendicular bisectors of our chords on the same circle meet at the centre. So looking at our diagram here, let's label our chords. We've got A, B and C, D. And now what we'll need is some perpendiculars to these chords. So let's say P, R and S, T are perpendicular bisectors of A, B and C, D respectively. Now, with those bisectors, we need to show that the perpendicular bisectors of those chords meet at the same point and meet at the center. So what I'm going to do is draw in our first perpendicular bisector. So for AB, that'll be somewhere up here. Okay, somewhere, something like this. Well, that's a right angle and that side there and that side there are the same. So we'll call that P down the bottom and we'll call that R at the top. All right, we'll just start with that one and get into our proof. So we've got our statements and our reason table. Now, the first thing we can say is that the center of our circle must be on that line. Or well, how do we know that? Well, Chord Theorem 3 proves that. So Chord Theorem 3 said that a perpendicular of a chord through the center cuts our chord and our angle that's subtended at the center in half. So by definition, we've created this as a perpendicular bisector. According to Chord theorem three, that perpendicular bisector should cut through the center. Right? It goes through this point of our circle. Now, just from this chord, we don't know where on our line the center is, but we can say for certain that um, the center of our circle is somewhere on this perpendicular bisector because that was proved in our chord theorem three. What I'll do next is draw in a perpendicular bisector to CD. So let's say that's the point there, S that cuts our chord in half. And then there's our bisector that's perpendicular. We'll call that S and then T down the end here. Now, if our center is on the line PR, the center must also be on the line ST because they're chords of the same circle and the center um, of the circle, if it goes through CD, must be on that line ST for the, exactly the same reason that the center is on the line PR. So we've got a center that is on both of these lines, PR and ST, the center must be on both of those lines. Now, just by looking at that, there is only one point, let's call it X, that is on both lines. Let's call it X. There are no other places where those perpendicular bisectors will ever intersect. ST will go up and down, will go up to the right and down to the left. PR will go up to the left and down to the right. There's no other place those chords are going to cross. So that must be the only location for the center of the circle because the center must be on PR and the center must be on ST. So that point X where those lines cross must be the center of our circle. QED. Now we could add in more chords, but it would just show the same thing, that those, um, the perpendicular bisector will run through that same point there, X.
And students, after watching this video, you should be able to prove that the perpendicular bisectors of all chords on the same circle meet at the centre.